All right, the brush, the very basics of the brush too. So let's go to new and hit okay. Now in the last video I showed you how to basically go into the brush settings and make it so it's easy to change the size uh, based on the wheel mouse. So you can see the wheel mouse or the bracket keys. If you use alt, you can change the opacity. Click alt and wheel mouse. And you can still zoom in and out using control. So that didn't change. All right, now let's go to a smaller brush. And let's go into um, the hardness value. So if you see a brush that looks like this, this is called a soft brush. It's got a blur factor on the outside. This is great for organics and blending but not good for what we need it. We want to produce vectors later on. Then there's a hard edge brush and you can see the difference between the hard edge and the soft edge now. I have turned dynamics off so nothing like on the Wacom drawing tablet can interfere uh, for right now. Later on we'll look at dynamics and how to use them. So if you ever want an opacity change you can just alt and you can see that you can make some interesting things happen like that just like that alright now if you want to make a straight line very easy so let's make my brush smaller click hold shift and now it shows me where the next where it's going to end up as far as the stroke value this is invaluable really Photoshop has a very awkward system when it comes down to making straight lines. Uh, it has a click, shift, and then click. This one, it allows when you hold shift to see the preview of where the line is going to be. Photoshop does not have this. So if you need to make some really cool incre increment designs and uh, unique patterns, yeah, this is very handy to have. So that's how you make a straight line, those are soft brushes, and that's how you make an opacity change. That's what you get for your basic brush setup. Enjoy. Let's go on to the next video.